Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at a slightly different case where we have uh, a weak base reacting with a strong acid. So the example here would be if we had uh, ammonia aqueous plus HCl aqueous gives uh, NH4 plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. And so what it's going to look like is it's going to look like the acid, the weak acid titration curve, but flipped over because now we have a weak base. So let's start to dissect this a little bit. So our analyte is going to be our weak base. Our titrant is going to be our HCl. And so um, we're going to start, obviously, with a, a pH in the base region. So up here, our pH at point A is going to be something basic. And then as we add acid, we're going to work our way toward um, and we're going to work our way toward the acidic conditions. Okay, and so let's start looking at this in the context of what we know from a strong, uh, from what we know from the weak acid uh, example. So point A is a fairly easy one to recognize. So at point A, this is going to be the analog of point A for a weak acid, except it's a weak base. So what we have in this case is we have a weak base. And so just to kind of get us all on the same page, what we've got here is we've got, you know, some NH3 in solution and in our burette we've got HCl. And so at zero volume added, um, we just have the NH3 sitting around in that solution by itself. So this is a weak base. This is going to be a type 2 problem where we can do an ice table. So we just take the concentration of the weak base uh, and the Kb. So we have Kb, the concentration of the, uh, the base initial, and we're going to use this to get the uh, concentration of OH minus, and then we can get the pH from that. So we can convert the, the OH minus to a pOH, and then the pOH to a pH. Okay, so now let's look at what happens as we start to add some acid to this. So when we start to add some acid, um, what's going to happen is is our we're going to set up the same thing that's going to happen. Um, that would happen with a weak acid uh, and a, and a, a uh, with a weak acid with a strong base. We're going to go into that buffer region. So between the equivalence point and A, we're going to have a buffer where we're going to have the base and the BH plus in this case. Um, basically, you can think of it as because we're going to use Henderson Hasselbach, we're going to have HA and A minus or the base present together in the same solution. So in essence, what we're going to have is we're going to have ammonia and NH4 plus together in solution. So let's write that down for this particular instance. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have a mixture of ammonia and NH4 plus. And so our excess reagent is going to be our NH3. Our limiting reagent is going to be the HCl. And so we're going to have a mixture of NH3 and NH4 plus, and so we can use Henderson Hasselbach. But we got to talk about that a little bit, and and we're going to do that in just a second. So let's prove that this is the case. So let's say that we have 1.0 moles of the NH3, and let's say we put in 0 0.2 moles of HCl. So when we do our setup here. When we're in this region before the equivalence point, we're going to get 0 0.8 moles, 0 moles, and 0 0.2 moles. And so we're going to have a mixture of the acid and the conjugate base. And so we can use Henderson-Hasselbach, but we have to be a little careful. Remember, Henderson-Hasselbach has the form of pH is equal to pKa times the log of A minus over HA. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to convert Kb to Ka. So we have that. And we got to remember what A minus and HA are. So in this case, the base is going to be our NH3. And the acid is going to be our NH4 plus. So the A minus and the HA, when it applies to this base titration curve, it's just going to be the base and the acid. So the base is going to go on top and the acid is going to go on the bottom. Um, and so if you use this form with the Ka and the concentration and the moles of the NH3 and the moles of the NH4+, you can easily get any pH in the buffer region 
um, from that. When we get to the equivalence point, what we're going to wind up having is the same exact situation that we had with weak bases. Our pH in this case is going to be less than 7. And that's because what we're going to have in the solution is going to be 100% HA. So at this point, all of our NH3 is going to re be reacted away, and we're going to have just NH4 plus present in solution. So we're just going to have the NH4 plus in solution. And so this is going to react with water to make H3O plus and um, NH3. And so we can use our type 2 slash ice table problem just like we would with the other one along with the Ka to get that. And so once we get past the equivalence point and we get into this region past that, what we're going to have here is we're going to have the excess HCl. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did with the uh, weak uh, acid titration curve. We're just going to get the moles of HCl divided by the total volume. And that's going to give us, and from that we can get our H3O plus, which we can convert to a pH. So basically, a, a weak base and a strong acid is all the same stuff. It just sort of flips everything around um, backwards.